For the sign of Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, we got the Ace of, Ace of Pentacles. And it's with the Tower. Now the Ace of Pentacles, like all the Aces in the Tarot, they're about new beginnings. So, it's likely to find you enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these are very positive new beginnings. So, you could be feeling optimistic, upbeat, hopeful about the future. Things should be going really well. You could be starting something new very soon. Now, this could be in the area of work. Or it could be personally, but either way, it's a really good thing with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, I like the Ace of Pentacles. I like the picture. That's a squirrel. He's in a forest with a huge pinnacle. I don't know if some of you probably don't know what the word pinnacles mean in the tarot, but that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Yeah, it looks like it probably rained for about maybe two days nonstop. Maybe three or four, maybe more. So, the squirrel, he's come out from hiding from the rain and he's like amazed and excited at the same time. Yeah, the rain finally stopped. He's excited because he can make new footprints now. Paw prints, footprints. He can't find his old ones anywhere. Not a trace of them anywhere. So he's trying to figure out, should I run to the right and make some new paw prints? Or should I run to the left and make some new prints? You know, maybe I should just run right up the pinnacle. But then he's thinking, I think I'll just run straight forward, right into the camera. So it's, it's excitement. It's time for new beginnings. Yep, fresh new starts. So he's excited. Yeah, so that's a little bit about the Ace of Pentacles now. It's with the tower. The tower can be about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo and this can be a disaster because you have to roll with the changes it could be that some people situations that you have counted on as being there for you they may no longer be there in quite the same way now this doesn't have to be drastic it doesn't have to be drastic because change is actually the nature of life so if we try to prevent it it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle. And if you've been building some castles in the air, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down. That's only a problem if you let it be, because you can replace them with some more realistic, reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart. So... The recent past energy, this Ace of Pentacles clarified by this tower, recent past energy between you and your person. So what I'm getting is for some of you, you had a new fresh start with someone. Or you, you started a new relationship with someone. Uh, maybe you reconnected with someone and it felt like a fresh new start. But then it seemed like it was pretty much over before it got a chance to, 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 go, to, to take off, to go anywhere. It was over before, it felt like it was over before it started. And if it, if it lasted a while, it just ended badly. 
Yeah, with this tower card here. Things things came crashing down. Boom. It just felt like out of out of nowhere. It just fell apart. So that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Now let's take a look and see what's coming up between you and your person. Well, we got the four of, four of swords, and it's with the star card. Now the four of swords, actually it's signifying there's a need for a break. Could be from normal life, could be from your person. This can also mean that you are someone in your life. They may withdraw for a time. Now this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent. Yeah. It can occasionally, as an example, this is, these are examples, illness, time in the hospital, or even more rarely, time in jail. Those are just examples of when someone goes away and then they come right back. It's a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, you want to take them at their word. Because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. Now, it's with the star card. With this card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired. You'll be feeling more hopeful about the future than you had have in a while. You also feel more confident that your needs are being met, whether these are emotional or financial, or it could be both. They're, they're being met. Just know nothing can be taken for granted. But it's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. This can be a spiritual card. You could find yourself, at least for a time, feeling at one with all of creation and this is not a common feeling so you want to make sure to savor it so coming up pisces for you and your person it looks like four of swords clarified with the star card so like i said things just seem like it just went boom out of nowhere it just it just came to an end And it, it looks like it's it's taken a toll on you. Yeah, energetically, it looks like it. Because Four of Swords, it's about needing rest after some struggle. So yeah, it looks like you'll withdraw. You'll, you'll go away maybe, or you'll just spend some time maybe to yourself, trying to recover. Because the tower moment was really hard on you. You probably weren't expecting it because you wanted a new beginning and you thought they did too. So it's about, it's about resting after this struggle or resting after this tower moment. And it's showing that it's gonna do you, do you well, this rest. It's saying, if you're not thinking about resting after this tower moment, rest. Because what's on the other side is the star card. It's gonna help you to find hope again and be rejuvenated. And any grief, that you've experienced, it's saying it will be released. Yeah, the star card is, it's a renewal, it's hope. You get inner clarity and you have faith again. So it's saying make sure you do rest. If you're not thinking about resting, it's saying rest. Even if that, even, even if it means going up to 
mom's house in Michigan or wherever for the weekend. Just do it as long as you can get rest. That's what it's saying, and it's going to bring you back to life. And you'll get some inner clarity. And you'll be shining like a star that you you were before this tower moment. So rest after struggle, Pisces. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Well, we got this Knight of Pentacles. And it's with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so the Knight of Pentacles is actually good. Really good. Um, it's about stability. So if you're single, this card indicates that you could be ready for a serious relationship. And you may soon find someone who's ready to provide you with the security and support that you need or want. And if you're in a relationship with the Knight of Pentacles, it means your commitment is solid. Because the Knight of Pentacles is actually a good indicator of a solid, stable, committed type or energy. The yeah, Knight of Stable Knight of Pentacles is very stable, loyal. It represents that this person is practical, they're patient, protective, and this person will be your knight in shining armor. So it's a very, very good energy. Yeah. So it's with this Four of Pentacles, though. Now, the Four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, or situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So, when this card appears, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. So... It points to anxiety and fear. Could be about money. And or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key is to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So, your challenge, Pisces, Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Four of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting is that... Like I said, you come back to life after this tower moment. You realize that it's not the end all be all. You realize, okay, it fell apart. It's time to move on. You get rest after struggle and then you're you're even better than you were before the tower moment. Because you, you're shining like a star now. You got inner clarity. And um, you're rejuvenated. So it looks like with this challenge, I don't know if you know someone like this Knight of Pentacles. For so some of you do. Now, for others, it's someone new. Someone new coming in that's going to be really, really good for you. Yeah. Like I said, the Knight of Pentacles, that's your knight in shining armor. But the thing is that it's with this Four of Pentacles. So I'm kidding for some of you Pisces. You're going to recognize that this is a good thing. Now, I think you should take this as a warning. Some of you are going to cling on, you know, like you don't want this person to get away. And they're going to pick up on that, so... You don't want to turn this person off because you might give them the impression that you could be just too clingy. Yeah, that's what that's what this Four of Pentacles is, is about, being clingy, needy. I hate to say that. I'm not calling you guys clingy, needy. But just take this as a warning. You might scare this person away. 
Yeah, you could do that. Because, like I said, this Four of Pentacles is holding on too tight to a situation or a lover. And the clinging is very unhealthy. Because we all know true love, it allows for space between lovers, no matter what. One can never really control another person. So just be careful, because you could uh, scare this person off. Because um, everyone needs breathing space. Yeah, because the Four of Pentacles, if you look at it, that's a card below the word challenge. This man, he's clinging on really tight to his pinnacles. He's got his hands on his money and his feet on his money. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. So you recognize that this man or this woman is your knight in shining armor. And... You just, you want to make sure you don't lose this person. But, it's not a good look. Because if a brick fell out of the sky and hit this man on his head, the Four of Pentacles, he'd still be holding on to his money. Hands and feet, just like he is now. It's unhealthy clinging. Yeah. Very unhealthy, so be careful. Yeah, if you find yourself doing this, stop it. You're gonna run. You're gonna run this person away. So that's the challenge. Let's see what the outcome is. Now we got the Five of Pentacles, and it's with the Sun card. Five of Pentacles can point to a time when life could start to feel less than secure. Now the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You could feel alone, but just know you have the capacity to change that, so reach out. You could feel left out in the cold, as though everyone in the world has everything, and you're the only one suffering. And you have to realize that this is not the case. Do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do is if you need help, is to go out and ask for it, because the help that you need, it will come. It will come. Now, it's with the sun card. Things are likely to be going well when you get the sun card. However, even though finances are likely to be in good shape, that doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on that list. Well, that's what the sun card says. I didn't say that. I know for me it is. And for some of you it is. But this is a good time to socialize. To meet new people. Get out and about. And if you're looking for a job, this car can signify that it's right around the corner. Yeah. So socialize. We can't do too much of that these days. Unless we're in a... Not, not, unless we're looking crazy in our mask. But... Socialize. You can do social media. Take some pretty pictures. If you're single out there, you're looking. Social media. Just put some pretty pictures out there. If you're looking. That's a good way to meet new people, I guess, these days. I don't know. But anyway, Pisces, your outcome, Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Sun card. So, what I'm getting is that, yeah, like I said, this tower moment, it took a toll on you. You realized you needed to go visit mom up in Michigan, get away from everything. You take a break, take a little mini vacation for the weekend, you get some rest. And you come back better than ever. You come back, you come back a superstar. And you meet someone new. I don't know if you met him while you're out in Michigan, trying to get some rest. But you meet this wonderful person, stable, civilized, 
the type that makes a really good father. Yeah, you meet someone really good for you. And it's saying, just be careful. Don't be so clingy needy. Because he'll pick up on it and it could turn this person off. So just take that as a warning. This four of pentacles. Yeah, so... Because the outcome has the Five of Pentacles with the Sun card, it's showing that you know you're you're in good. You're in you'll be doing well. Cause because the Five of Pentacles, feeling less than secure, feeling out in the cold. Um. It's because it's with the Sun card, it reverses this negative energy. So. If you at some point felt less than secure, left out in the cold, it turns around right away with the sun card. You see how the sun card pops out over all these cards in the reading? It bursts out. It shouts out. So, yeah. Things turn out really well. You'll be happy. And you'll be adding sunshine to your person's life. And you will not be feeling left on the cold. Maybe you had a little bit of thought that that could happen. Because you just went through a rough period. But things turn around. You don't feel that way for long. Because the sun card is very powerful. Yeah, you're going to be really happy. And like I said, you'll be adding sunshine to your person's life. There's new persons, Knight of Pentacles, and they'll be making you very happy, adding a lot of sunshine to your life. So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, uh, the readings... As you know, the readings are general, so they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There is also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Pisces, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. Stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. So keep in mind, if you're not dealing with someone romantically, your person in these readings could be a friend, a family member, or a situation. Also, the roles can be switched. You could be your person, or your person could be you. So take the readings for however it resonates. Because, like I said, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. So, Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope that you come back and check out the next reading. And take care. And take care. And take care.